sounds. Young boss, Miss Trainer, Pitbull. In this lesson, we will start to create a simple theme for a panda, similar to what you just saw in the beginning. First, we create a cube with Shift A, then tap go to the edit mode, scale this cube. One, go to the front view and G Z, move the cube above the red line. Press three, switch to the face edit mode. Shift select these three faces and delete them. Two, select to the edge mode and shift select these three edges. Ctrl B and drag. Scroll mouse wheel, increase the cut, make it smoother. Now we have a simple background. Press number pad zero, switch to the camera view. We'll adjust the view later. Let's change the cube's name to background. We give the background a simple texture. Select the background. Add a new materials. Mm, change the material name background. Then we give it a simple color, maybe a dark green. We switch to the rendering viewport and uh, right click, smooth shading. Adjust the color. Now we are changing the camera view. In the sidebar view tab, click the camera to view. Now you can hold your middle wheel and change the camera view. Press shift and hold the middle wheel and drag. You can move the viewport. Select the background and drag. Scale your background up until it can cover the whole camera view. Let's switch to the top view. Tap to the edit mode. Enable your X-ray and select this point, GX. And then select this point, GX. Just to make your background bigger. Let's continue to adjust your camera. Press zero, switch to the camera view. I think the panda is a little far from the camera. You can scroll your middle wheel and make your camera closer to your panda. Okay, just scroll a little bit. Okay, I think this angle should be okay. The panda size in the camera is okay. Once you're happy with the camera, you can uncheck the camera to view in case you move it later. For better observation of the final result, I like to do some camera setting. Select your camera. In the camera property, find the viewport display and make your passport out to 1. Now it will make the rest part black and only show the final result camera view. Drag a new window. We'll do our lighting and scene setting in this new window. The left window will use it as a final result preview. Currently, we already have one light in the scene. The power is 1000. We still need to create two extra lights here. Let's shift A, create a new area light. And move the light to the top left of your panda. Drag the yellow dot, point to your panda. Press S to scale your area light up. You cannot see any difference because your power is too low. We can make it to 1500. Okay. Uh, I found an issue here. Do you aware that the auto key is still enabled? I forgot to disable it. So that's why when I do any change to my camera and my lights, it's all recorded. I have to move those keys. So please remember to disable your auto key after you finish your animation. Turn it off. Don't make the same mistake as me. Okay, the background is a little too light, so I just select the background and go to the materials. Um, try to increase the roughness. Maybe 0 0.8, 0.9. And make the green darker. During the lighting setup, you can create various contrasts between light and shadow. It makes your subject stand out. Okay, I think it's better now. Let's select your area light. Shift D, duplicate it and move the new light to the back right of your panda as a backlight. Mm, I think the light is too bright. Let's lower down the power. Maybe the front light is 900 and lower the backlight to 900. And in the side light, maybe I think uh, 300. Okay, 300 is okay. We can also create some contract between warm and cool lights. We can give the side light and the backlight a blue color. 
Mm, okay, we can just create some power over the backlight. Maybe 800. It will give your panda a beautiful blue rim light. For the front light, we can make it warmer. Just a little yellow. It will create a warm and cool lighting contract. For the light setting, you are not have to follow my step. You can based on your own thing to create some beautiful lighting by yourself. Once you are happy with your lighting, you can F12 to render one pick. Let's take a look. I think the lighting is okay now. When you are happy with your render result, you can go to the output. Press here to create a new output folder for the final animation. Rename it and click Accept. Go to the Render menu and click the Render Animation. It will start to render from the first to the last frame. Because we are rendering with EV, so you won't wait too long. After you finish your rendering, you can go to the editing software. For me, I will use the Premiere. You can just create a project. And go to the Project tab. Right click Import. Find your output folder. Select the second or third frame, not the first one, first one tipos, and check the sequence. Click open. It will start to import. Please drag it to your sequence. Okay, you can right click and you can import the video. You can find this video in my um, attachment. Okay, drag it to your scene. Because our final render result is 30 FPS and it's longer than your video, don't worry. Select your sequence and go to the third tooth, located the aspect ratio stretch tool and move to the right part of your sequence, just drag until it matches your video. Okay. Move your sequence layer above your video layer. You can play it. You can see it matches very well. If you don't have the Adobe Premiere, you can use other software. It's a very easy editing. Okay, same things have no issue. You can go to the file and output your uh, final result. Go to the media and uh, change the format to H.264. And the setting is the high bit rate. It will output your video as MP4. Click the output name, you can change the file name and the save location. And then you can output your video now. That's all for the Premiere part. Okay, someone may be curious about how I do this thing. i just show you quickly. Okay, you can see um, it's very simple. I just uh, give you the bamboo and the rocks model you can use in the attachment. Okay, I also give you this picture as background, you can download in our attachment. And you can duplicate the bamboos and the rocks and try to use the rotate and the scale smartly and make your thing look beautiful. I also create a special light here. It's like a sunlight here. It's a very strong light, but I do a map cover in front of it and make it look like a sunlight. If you want to see how I do this light setting, you can go to my Fox Blender tutorial series in the number 26. So you will see how I set up this light. The light power is very big. Uh, I go to the okay 9000. It will make your sunlight very obviously. Okay, that's all for the whole Panda Dance tutorial series. Total 8 chapters. Uh, this is my first time making an English tutorial. I'm not a native speaker, so maybe my pronunciation is not that correct. I hope it hasn't caused too much confusion for everyone. Please let me know if you feel that my uh, English Blender tutorial is helpful. I will keep doing it and improve my English and the video quality. See you in my next video. Cut tips.